All right, The Legend of Korra Season 2, Episode 12. It's all about to start happening. I can feel it now. We've got a lot of the other minor-ish stuff out of the way. Varric's been put in prison, and he's given us his battleship, the Zhu Li, and we're going to go take on Unalak. And it seems like it's just going to be Team Avatar, which personally, I'm quite happy about. This and that, the president doesn't want to help, whatever. If it's just going to be Team Avatar, plus Tenz and his siblings, maybe Lin as well. If we're lucky, we'll see. She's been pretty absent this season, I'm here for it. That's what Avatar, that's what the Legend of Korra is all about. Unalak just defeated Tonrock. We're days away from the harmonic convergence. We got a big three episodes here. I can feel it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm almost the most curious to see what happens with Tenzin, man. There's been such a build up for his character. He's been through so much, so many struggles. I feel like he's gonna have a really big moment. You know, there's gonna be some big stuff with Korra. I really wanna see Rava and Vatu specifically fighting. I don't know if that's gonna be possible because we know Rava was like within the avatar within Korra. I still want to see Vatu merging with Unalak. I'm sure that's going to happen. I'm just really excited. So I'm going to go straight into this episode now. Like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for early access and uncut watch along versions of all of these Korra reactions if you're interested. And with all that being said, enjoy the video. Chapter 12, Harmonic Convergence. Talk to me then. Look at the Zhu Li. Damn, I wonder what Janora is going through right now. Is she just like frozen in, in, in that like thing that Unalak did to her? We do a little training. We get ready. <laughs> What's up with the code? He dripped out. And where did you get that pie? It's a Varric ship. You never know what you're gonna find. I should have known. Of course, there's also the Cat Gator deck. Hey, yo! <laughs> you told Cory yet about how you guys broke up and then you kind of started dating Asami while she was off getting attacked by dark spirits? Can we deal with all this stuff now so we can just enjoy the rest of what happens, please? Once told me that delivering bad news to a girlfriend was like ripping off a blood-sucking leech. You just have to do it fast and get it over with. Ah, I hate it when you listen to me. And that came back to bite you, didn't it? I'm going to close the spirit portals, lock Vatu in for another 10,000 years, and make Unalak wish he'd never been born! Talk to him, Cora. Maybe now's not the best time, Marco. <laughs> For a couple of reasons. Uh, um. Did do you want something? Uh, no, no, nothing. Please, I can't. <laughs> Just be honest, please. Then we can rendezvous with Tunrock and his troops. Uh -oh. Crash through the defenses uh -oh. around the portal and enter the spirit world. Since when does my little brother want to crash or blast through anything? I'll do whatever it takes to save my daughter. Yes, sir. I like this Tenzin. But I think your plan might be a tad over aggressive. Nah, let it happen. Seeing as there are only seven of us and one ship. And what do you suggest? An attack like this calls for strategy. I remember when I was surrounded by pirates in the Hurricane Straits. We managed to capture them all with just a feather, two eggs, and a barrel of molasses. This guy I don't want me. to hear any of your crazy stories now. This is serious. Oh, poor Boomy. I just picked up a distress signal from the southern troops. Uh-oh. There's a problem. <laughs> Big problem. Oh, isn't this where Cora lived? Yeah. That's mother. Where's dad? Unalak wiped out the entire southern resistance and captured your father. I'll get him back. Where is my mother? She's in the healing hut. I almost forgot Katara's here, man. I'm not gonna lie. How long has she been away? Almost a week. It's been that long? You're the only one who can help her now, Mom. Goodness me. How much longer can she survive like this? I don't know. But she's very strong to have lasted this long. Once again, you feel the gravity around Janora. Harmonic Convergence is only a few hours oh, away. Hey, we are we here. We have to break through the enemy lines ourselves and get to the portal It's like now. the day of Black Sun, man. It's time. We know what our mission is. A suicide mission? Oh, I was in a oh, Our only chance to get to the water was to drop in from above. We'll no, no, this is good. Mind. Enough of your ridiculous lies. Hold on, maybe Boomy's right. We don't have a catapult and hog monkeys, we but we have a flying bison, and there's a plane on Varric's ship. Mako Bolin and I can use the plane to create a distraction and scatter some of the defenses. You, Tenzin, Boomy, and Kaya can fly into the spirit portal on Ugi when you see an opening. Yes, that will happen. I like that. And Naga? Oh, they don't get to go? Are they gonna pull up again at some point? I reckon they will, man. What are we still doing here, Father? The spirit portals are open. You've restored balance. Now we would like to go home. 
You don't understand. There won't be a home. After today, there will be no more water tribe. No more nations of any kind. Dude, like he's insane. How do people get like this? And I love that Asami, once again, can look past all the drama that's going on right now to lock in for this. I do appreciate that. Oh shit, that looks kind of crazy, man. All the spirits. Oh my god. I think they were expecting it. It is like the day of Black Sun, man. They were expecting it. Of course they were. They had no choice. They had to come and do this. Oh, that's kind of clean. Dude, Bolin's just out there, man. Fire. Okay. Oh, he came strapped with the discs. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, they weren't discs, they were bombs. Damn, they're just oh. coming out. Oh! Of him, you sticky, nasty little blob of yeah, let him know, Lenny. Oh shit. If I go, you're coming with me. Dude, his pink earmuffs are amazing. Boom! It's just like C4. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn! Oh shit. Hey, help! Eject! That's insane. That's not looking so good, man. Oh shit. We're all crashing. Is everyone alive? Oh, uh oh. We scarred up. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, is that dad? Dad. Well, at least we're all together. I'm so sorry. I failed you. Don't give up. Harmonic Convergence isn't here yet. Oh. Oh. Congratulations, everyone. You've all got front row seats for the beginning of the New World Order. Freeing Vatu won't make you powerful. It will only make you a traitor to everything good that- I don't think he cares about that. You think what Avatar wanted was good? Driving almost all the spirits from this world? The Avatar hasn't brought balance, only chaos. This guy is just wrong. But there shouldn't be a bridge. We should live together as one. Even if Fatu escapes, I'll put him right back in his I don't disagree with what he said there, but what he's doing is wrong. true that when Wan fused with Rava, he tipped the scales in her favor. But this time, I'll be here to level the playing yeah, field. Yeah, what are you gonna do? When Harmonic Convergence hey, comes, what you gonna do? we will fuse with Vatu. And together we will become the new avatar. Oh shit. A dark. Oh, I, I didn't think it was gonna be like this. Your era is over. I know that you've always had a deep connection with the spirits, but you're still a man. Mm. Are you willing to throw your humanity away to become a monster? I'll be no more of a monster than your own daughter. Vatu and I will be as one. No one will be able to stand against us. Hmm. I feel like they're gonna turn against him for sure. Like after really hearing what he feels like, he doesn't care about anything. We've lost Jinora forever. There's still a chance. They didn't get Boomy. Oh, stop it. But hold on now. Hold on now. <sighs> Lock in, Boomy. Oh, you wanna play some more? Well, bring it on. Something gonna happen here. <laughs> Is the spirit a homie? What's going on? Hey, yo! Hey, okay, okay. The spirit has a personality about it, though. Oh, we're playing dirty, huh? Oh! Yo, that was wild. Naga. Stop it. Huh? Hmm. Looks like we've got a music lover here. Does, does this work universally? Bro, Boomy come in with the army of spirits, man. Here's Naga, I knew it. <laughs> Reinforcements! 
All right, soldiers. Looks like it's on us to save the day. Luckily, I've got a plan. I bet you do. Hey, who saw this coming? I didn't. Eska, Desna, listen to me. You've got to help us stop Unalak. I know he's your father, but Vatu has made him completely crazy. Yep. We will never turn on our father. He won't be your father anymore. Uh-huh. Come on. You don't know what you're talking about. Our father is the wisest man in the world. If he says what he is doing is right, I believe him. You can see there's, you know, there's something there. They're torn, but they want to believe their father's right. Okay. You know, if I wanted some ball of evil lurking over my shoulder all the time, I'd have stayed home with my mother-in-law. <laughs> Your general is here. Follow me. I hope this works, man. It's working. Is it? It's not working. Maybe it was just that one spirit. But this could work in our favor. Okay. I mean, hey, we're doing something. <laughs> He's gonna bring this whole place down, man. Completely unintentionally. <laughs> this will be a story to tell, Boomy. Eject! Oh, finally, an ejection. <laughs> All right, guys, rescue time. <laughs> we'll take it. I did it all with my trusty flute and... Ah, oh, never mind, you wouldn't believe it anyway. Let's get moving. We all saw it, we all saw it, Boomy. Shit's on fire in the snow. That's how bad things are. Asami, can you take Ugi and my dad back to my mom? Mm hmm. This is my fight now. No, this feels right. Once we're inside, you go find Janora. Mako and Bolin will take care of Unalak while I close the portals so Vatu can't escape. Worst case scenario. So we're fighting Unalak, you close the portals, and let's just say something happens to you. Are we going to be trapped in there for eternity? Uh -oh. If everything goes as planned, We'll all walk out together after harmonic convergence. Good. If not, let's go. Yeah, yeah, no if not. We're not even gonna talk about it. It's gonna be fine. And you know it's gonna be fine because there's two more seasons. <laughs> Whoa, it's pretty epic, man. This is exactly the squad I hoped for. Come on. Okay. Damn, he's pretty smooth though. Is it gonna be this simple? Ooh, I love these fight scenes, man. They do a good job of them. You're running out of time, Raba. I know you feel it coming. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh shit. I mean, we all wanted to see this though, no? I know this is crazy bad, but we all wanted to see this. Oh shit. Okay, okay. That is wild. Here he comes. Christ! It's him. <laughs> I 
Now look, isn't this exactly where we thought we'd be? I'm not disappointed at all. We got two episodes left and they're gonna be absolute bangers. I'm here for it. I said this throughout a lot of The Last Airbender, a lot of what was gonna happen at the end, it was obvious, right? But it's stuff you want to see. And that's what makes it so enjoyable. It doesn't make it any less enjoyable because you know certain things are gonna happen. I wanna see this stuff on the screen. All right, so first of all, I feel kind of bad for Boomy because in the last few episodes, I've cut a lot of Boomy out, but give Boomy his flowers man he's had his moment here i appreciate it i felt like it was always coming because at the end of the day he's still commander boomy right he's still a big deal sure he's got all these crazy stories and whatnot and after seeing what he did in this episode he might just be one of those guys maybe all that stuff really happens man i'd believe it he's like that jack sparrow kind of character you know he just all this crazy stuff happens and it just all works out so i appreciate that so we start the episode off with the awkward ordeal of marco he just needs to tell Cora, look this is what happened he got Got thrust into an awkward situation. It is what it is. We've seen plenty of them in the show at this point. But just like when Bolin was having his lady troubles earlier on in the season, Bolin's given Mako the exact same advice. You just need to rip the band-aid. Granted, I was saying, can we just get all of this over with quickly so we can focus on you know all the epic stuff that's about to happen and that is happening? Maybe not the best time because that could really throw Korra off mentally. And Mako did see the way that Korra absolutely destroyed that mannequin. I don't think he wanted any part of being on the receiving end of that. That. So that's going to be stuff that I imagine is going to be resolved at the end of the season. It is one of those situations where it is as simple as Marco just being like, hey, this is what happened. He's already kind of lied by saying, no, it wasn't that big of a fight. That's a detail I kind of glossed over last episode. That's my apologies. But we'll see. I can almost see an instance where everyone's single at the end of this season. I just get the feeling that's where we're heading, you know? But we'll see. Honestly, I'm the least invested in all of the romance and stuff that's going on here. As I've been saying, the rest of the show is that good so let's move on more emphasis on Janora and like I said last episode during this episode as well you can just feel the gravity around the severity of Janora's situation every time they bring it up and they talk about it they're doing a really good job of that it's been almost a week since you know like two episodes ago which is crazy but I appreciate that like I've always said I enjoy the pacing of the Legend of Korra and all this talk about like having a plan and Tenzin being like really aggressive about it it was really making me think of Sokka Sokka was always the plan guy and the last episode bender plants because the world was so different they were always like really like aggressive i guess in some ways like this like like day of black sun like blasting through you know the, the fire nation trying to get to ozai it's exactly what this reminded me of and i really appreciate that it was just like being back there really epic scene flying in on the ship and on ugi i really appreciated all of that i really love the fight scenes in this show but it all ended with everyone getting captured and boomy was the one that had to save them that was a nice little twist i didn't expect that i do appreciate it some of these shots are really epic like the big wide shot of seeing the portal with the spirits all flying around it I, I love stuff like that it reminded me of halo funnily enough i feel like halo 3 maybe when the portal opens to the to the arc if anyone knows what i'm talking about but like it was really cool stuff and unalak pretty much reveals his true colors like he's been sprinkling it in we, we know about unalak as viewers obviously i think it was more for esna and desna you can see that they want to believe their father right i feel like they have some redeemable qualities like it's like Ty Lee and May and Unalak is like the Azula of this situation if you will. Unalak doesn't care about anything. He doesn't care about his kids. He's just using them so he can get what he wants. But Unalak's description of him becoming like the new avatar like fused with Vatu that's something like I didn't specifically think about. I thought Vatu might just be using Unalak to bring about his 10,000 years you know what I'm saying of chaos which he very well could still be doing. I know there's going to be a merge. I just wonder if it's going to be permanent or not. It's a really Really cool concept and I'm still really excited to see it don't get me wrong but we'll see what happens with all of that and the way Ezra and Desna were, were just kind of talking to Korra at the end you know I forget which one my apologies but one of them was saying like this is our father if he says this is what's right we're going to believe him and I feel like there, there's something under there you know obviously they want their father to be right it's their father but, but we'll see I feel like something's going to happen there and then the boomy sequence happened I really appreciate that came out of nowhere already talked about that I do feel like the point of that was to show that maybe boomy stories aren't all completely made up which i did already kind of mention but then it's squad up time the only person i thought might go into the portal who didn't was asami she's obviously not a bender but because she was part of team avatar you know but everyone else that i expected is in there lynn's not she's still back in republic city it is what it is with that but this is going to be good we've got tenzin bumi and kaya they're off looking for janora marco and bolin trying to buy time for Korra to seal up the portal 
haven't managed to do it in time and it's happened Vatu's out here it's gonna be epic man it's gonna be epic like just like I said you knew we were gonna be here it's all the stuff that happens in between that that's the mystery that's been exciting and it's been really good thus far so what do I think is gonna happen from here so Vatu and Unalak are gonna merge for sure and it's gonna be a really epic avatar fight like Korra versus Unalak Rava versus Vatu it's gonna be epic it's gonna be on a really big scale I hope but one thing I was thinking about now we've seen in the last airbender Roku can Came out within Aang. I think it was episode 8 of season 1, maybe episode 10. And Kiyoshi came out in Aang as well. I, I think that was season 2. Maybe Aang will like manifest or, or come out within Korra. And this isn't where I was going with this, but I just had the thought and maybe like, you know, we take um, Unalak's bending away. That, that would be really interesting. But um, I was thinking maybe that's how Tenzin has this conversation with Aang. I feel like that's going to happen. It's an idea I had a few episodes ago. I think that would be really cool. Or just the fact that we're in the spirit world. You know, maybe we'll see all the avatars like Oh, do, oh, I'm having thoughts now, man. Because it's like Rava versus Vatu. If it's Vatu and Unalak, there's only been Unalak, right? Combined with Vatu. You can think about all the avatars that have been combined with Rava. Dude, what if it's like some... Oh, that could be really cool. Like all the past avatars, like, you know, that they, they come back somehow. We're in the spirit world, like, like and they help. Maybe Iroh comes back as well. Dude, oh, the possibilities are getting kind of endless. I, I've just gotten really excited all of a sudden. Not that I wasn't before, but like after thinking about all that stuff, man. But I know I'm in for it now. I'm going to finish this season in this session. I'm going to have a little break and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to enjoy myself. So I'm going to leave this episode here and I'm going to go straight into the final two episodes of season two. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And as always, please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next episode of The Legend of Korra.